I would get married, but like, that's not on my agenda. But if I got a babes and she wants to get married, she can propose and we can get married. Huh? Day of Black season two, one, take one. Hi, I'm Tony Mack, director, filmmaker, and storyteller. Last season, we started conversations around love, healing, and transparency within our community. Now let's delve deeper and continue this discourse with some new and amazing voices. This is Dating Black. It's all love. 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 It's How you doing? Hey. Lovely yeah. to have you lot. You lot look amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. We try. We try. I'm loving that for you guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. hey. How you lot doing? Good. Good. Wonderful. Yeah. You guys seem nervous, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start by playing the first question, then we can get into those reactions. Someone introduces you to a billionaire who's 20 years older than you and wants to marry you, hmm. what do you do? Thank God I'm in the wealth management industry. <laughs> it's okay. You've got actual experience. So now, yeah. In this economy, sign me your baby. What do you mean? What do you need, affection? Have affection. Do you need jokes? I can make you laugh. Yeah. What love? F love, F love. You have to assess things. Mm -hmm. Return on investments. <laughs> I'm investing my time, my character. I do it on social, social media for free. I'm not trying to be some billionaire's husband. It's mad. This guy is people so that, ego -pissed. People that think that. like that are <laughs> tapped. Like, you know, sometimes you just got to say it as it is. Like, do you want to be a billionaire's husband? No. Why we not? We get married. The Obviously, hell? no prenups involved. Set up trust, set up investment. <laughs> and all of that. This then one we make sure that this one's Nigeria, wealth like I is sorted. <laughs> then we can look at generational wealth. <laughs> and if they want to go and leave and divorce me, that's good. I've got the money, generational wealth is built, and here we go. I mean, you could fall in love. Maybe love can form. There's, there's some sort of love. <laughs> he's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. Charlie's not an Nigerian woman. Money. Love that house? Damn. When I think of money, I think of you. So essentially, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's terrible. I might want to be a billionaire and have a wife or whatever. Yes. <laughs> but I don't want to be that. Excuse oh, me. Oh, come on, Scorcher. What, what year are we in? Why is it always the good looking people that let me Hood. I'm not did, you, did you say good looking or hood? Yeah, he's good looking. She did said you say hood? And yeah. I said hood. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys don't see where he's coming from. I, I understand, understand it. Yeah. I understand it. You better demasculate yourself. He needs to move with the times. Yeah, he associates money with power mm -hmm. and he doesn't want to be the submissive one in that dynamic. Yeah, but I think it's harder for men do. though. So let's say you're 30, she's 50 really rare that you're going to be falling for a 50 year old. I feel like if you're okay to, to be that person, it should be the same vice versa, if that makes yeah. sense. When you're talking, what was it? Billionaire or million? Billionaire. Billions, I'm sorry. That's a whole different, well, is that's a whole different a category A billion now? with a capital B, like, hello, I'm sorry, but Scorcher is an alpha, right? And I feel like that's why he feels like he couldn't do it, but there's still other alpha roles you can take exactly. without being the main yeah. breadwinner. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can still make me feel like, yeah. oh, thanks daddy, without <laughs> being yeah. the main breadwinner. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what that made me think? Maybe I'm not thinking functionally enough about relationships. Because when you think about it, the love and love, love, love and love is cool. Yeah. But then there's going to be kids, future yep. generations. Like, I feel like men are very grounded when it comes to picking that life partner. So he's not getting with Rihanna if she was... 50. Exactly. Like, he's smart. Smart. Yeah. He's That's getting, why I love he's getting with her, her though, man. He's this is what her. I'm saying. If, if it's a really comes yeah. to scorching, it's so like, hey, babe, let me look after you. She's not 20 years older than me. It'll be my sugar baby. Okay. Are they not the same age? <laughs> Janet Jackson, maybe. Hallie I feel like he might. No, because <laughs> Janet is buff. I've always said, like, don't. Mm marry for love i agree with that don't I like don't that. do it it's, it's yeah be in love an element yeah. there's an element but don't be like oh i'm so in love let's get married yeah. no right. because that love is going to die away at mm -hmm. some point like it comes no it comes in season like it's not like that yeah it's ups and downs right so in a long-term relationship yeah yeah, yeah. and it's seasons of love 100 percent. it's never been like this from the very get-go it's married. been up yeah. and down i'm married yeah. i'll be i'll be my partner 13 years wow. and it's it's like it's yeah. like that so if you marry for love and then there'll be that period in time where you don't feel as yeah. in love anymore so yeah. then what you're going to do divorce and leave something. married girls and like girls that have a partner and stuff like that long-term partner there's something about them that just feels more more, um, 
less romantical, like more like. Logical. I think it's because they're in the okay. thick of it. Yeah, like okay. they're in the thick of it. But yeah. I, and I'm just thinking, is that maturity or is that settling? And this is a genuine question. This isn't shame. I think it's because they're in the thick of it. That's what it is. I think. I think it's definitely being in the thick of it because it's it's something that you learn as you go along. Mm, it's yeah. not something I didn't go into my marriage thinking, oh, it's, love's gonna come in season. You learn it as you as you go. Are 50-50 relationships healthy in terms of traditional gender roles? Here we go. <laughs> like, I remember as a kid talking to my mum, she would always say to me, don't be looking for no woman like me. Oh. Because oh. Okay, all my life I gave to you guys. But then too, she said, women these days are not traditional how I was. And she also said, it's not easy being that woman. Growing up when I was a bit younger, I thought, okay, cool, if that's the case, and if my mum's saying that and I love my mum, what can I do as a man who loves the women around me? to prepare for my relationship. I learned to do all the things that a woman brings to a relationship. Love One that. reason was because my mum always taught me, don't let no woman hold you ransom. Mm. If you can't do that in a relationship and she wants to hold that from you. Yeah, my how uncle you gonna... told me, don't ever let a plate hold you hostage. There you go. <laughs> how, are you gonna, how are you gonna manage? It's, it's been traditionally seen as women should be the ones to cook and whatnot, you know what I mean? And, and, and a man yes. shouldn't. But I'm like... Mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> talking like that. It's a yes, that is true. Yes. No, yeah, when, just, but, just um, for the, the sake but, of your... I remember I asked someone, who do you think should cook? He said, wow, my wife. I said, so let's say you and your wife have similar job, similar pay. You've both been out since morning working. You both come home around the same time. Who should cook? I said, she should. I said, I said, I said why? I said, because, because I'm tired. I said, so, so, so what is she? I personally think whoever is most natural to cook or like your home first or like whose turn it is or whatever, like that's how it should be. I don't know why it's always such a big deal. I just feel like it isn't reflective. It's ego boosting, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? I think it's, it's not real, but I think that it can be applied in certain situations. Mm. So for example, 50-50 in terms of looking after the kids. It's not really real, right. to be honest. Mm. Um, what do you mean? It's more the mum. I don't cook. I'm not doing all this mad cleaning. Like, I'll get a cleaner. Thank don't get twisted. Like, there'll be moments where I will do what I need to do. If you love me the right way, and certain things will maybe happen naturally, but I'm not a cooker. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. and it's not that I can't cook. I just would rather use my time doing something else. Yeah. I'd rather oh, relax. Because I'm a... You know, <laughs> you know, I can throw it down. <laughs> but I have to let them know from early, like, don't be having these huge expectations. So we can hire people. You know what? I'll even order a Sinyak Hakasa, what them call it, or Novikov. <laughs> I will do up, I will do up. We'll find dining for us. I just don't think they should be somebody who is submissive to the wishes of the other person exclusively. Yeah. I think it should be a fluid thing. I also think that 50-50 might change. Like, real relationships have real stuff. Yeah. Not to be a pick me, but I do feel like, guys, <laughs> do, do like a bit of, you know, like, baby, I cooked for you and all of that, and once mm. in a while, but it's not my role. If you're a cook and that's what you do, do that. That's just not me. I can cook. I like mm. juicy, nice tasting food. I yeah. love it. And I want you to enjoy it, but I'm just not going to stop doing what I'm doing to stay at home and cook for you when the way I want the life to be, I ain't got to do that. Like, we can pattern that. Do you know what I mean? If the, that billionaire came, I'll cook for you. <laughs> I think the problem is, is that there's a lot of ego. Um, I think men sometimes compare today to a yesteryear that they never experienced and romanticise that yesteryear. Yeah. Like, bro, your dad was working 24-7. He didn't know yeah. your name. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he didn't actually know what you look. He doesn't know the colour of your eyes. And your mum wasn't happy. You I, keep saying be like my mum. Your mum wasn't mom, even happy. Your mum. Oh, I feel like a lot of men, though, try to do that now. And they'll be like, oh, like, what do you bring to the table? Can you do this? Can you do that? Yeah, but if a guy asks me what I bring to the table, no, conversation yeah. over. Yeah. But, 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 but can you hear yeah. how that's ego? Do you know what that is? Yeah. That's, yeah. Do you know what it is? There's this thing that we do when we're in the theory again, tit for tat. To be fair, if I'm a stay at home wife, of course I'm going to. Yeah, because I'm sitting at but... home all day mm, for the right person. Oh, my mum. <laughs> the right person. I'll happily be a sit. Working is not fun, you know. If you want to come into my life and be like, baby, you you don't gotta work no more. Okay, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what position you want me in? <laughs> because it's true. <laughs> what do you mean? I will... Listen. I think it's whatever you want to do. Because my mum, she'll wake up in the morning and cook my dad breakfast. When yeah. he goes to Nigeria, she'll be making sure somebody's over there. Is, uh, she knows is he a food girl? guy? Not really, but. <laughs> But she just, I think like she likes doing her, it. I know yeah. that my man has eaten today. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. her she, job, yeah. that's she her thing. Love. One of the guys said that his mom said there's not really traditional women that exist like today. I disagree with that. Yeah. I think even me, like I'm on social media, I'm very, ah, ah, woo, woo, whatever. But I hold my morals to the utmost standards. Like everything that I was taught from when I was a kid, like it's just, 
I still hold that and I believe yeah. I am a traditional woman that's living in 2020. Modern times. Mm -hmm. right. I agree with, I'm, I'm like you, yeah. I feel like I'm yeah. very much traditional. I, I want to look after my home. Mm -hmm. I want to do the cooking. Yeah. I want to do the cleaning because not to say my husband don't do it, he right. does, but You're I just right. feel like I do it better. Yeah. Yeah. So I would rather yes. do it. So you do want to get married at some point? No, 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 no. I would get married, but like that's not on my agenda. But if this is the thing, like this is what I don't get about girls. You don't want to get married, yeah? Girls but there's like this taboo thing about proposing. But I don't like. You see, when I was a little boy, he doesn't want to get on his wasn't knee. on my list of things that I wanted to do. And now I'm an adult. So lucky. It's still not. But I'm open to it. So if I got a babes and she wants to get married, she can propose and we can get married. Huh? That's really interesting. Oh! You want to propose to Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. It's not, it's not so much that I want to propose to me. I want to I'm leave. not proposing to nobody because that's not on my agenda. Mm. Wow. It's that's just screaming. Wow. It's just screaming. Wow. Do you know what? But each their own. Wow. All my feelings for him has gone. See? <laughs> So many things just came at me all at once. If you're getting woman, on that nil as a woman, <laughs> hey, I'm proposing I, I to her, man. Yeah. <laughs> no. Can we just? Re I don't know no, if anyone no. remembers. No, I don't remember. I don't know if and anyone remembers when um, <laughs> Chrissy from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, that was got on her nil right. and proposed to Jimmy Jones or Jim Jack, whatever his name is. <laughs> And you saw his face, he was he was embarrassed yeah. for her. The older I get, the more I'm just like, you know what, you need to accept people where they are and for who they are. We need to talk after this. <laughs> but you really need to do that. And the, the, when, once you start doing that, you, you won't be offended. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to like trigger you like that. But I'm just so shocked at his delivery. He's so passionate about, that's not on my agenda. Because that's so far from what I want, I'm just like, wow. There was one thing that he said that I really think is, is such a benefit for a guy, the fact that being chosen wasn't on his list. It wasn't taught to him as a value of who he is. I feel like it was Cinderella, everybody, all of yeah. these people. It's like the idea was someone picked you out of the forest in, the, in your darkest time, someone picked you, you were worthy. But like, I, I think it's a very healthy thing that that wasn't in his mind, like that he just was, he's going about life and whoever makes sense for him, it makes sense for him. I think he's someone who just doesn't take marriage and all of that stuff that seriously. I think he doesn't so want to get married. Yeah, and, and that's yeah. totally fine. And that's why if a no, girl nil down for him, it will mean something else entirely. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm speaking for my faith. Yeah. I'm not going on my nil yeah. and asking any man to marry me. Do you know what? He might even identify love differently, but for me, that love thing means at some point you're getting on your knee, you might have a tear, preferably, and you're gonna just be looking at me, one big fat <laughs> ring, and you're asking me to marry you. You want me to be yours, and that's how I identify love and my forever after. I think so, a lot wow. of women actually start life off being very traditional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what they see is they get flogged within an inch of their oh, life. Yeah. And they're like, do you know what? You're hanging on by threads. What's there gonna be some up? Like they'll just change their whole, they become, mm. they become yeah. Trauma led, I guess, in a sense. Yeah, 100%. And, and they're just like, I don't want to go through that again. There's a woman out there that that whole statement, where it blew me away, it turned her on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, for real. <laughs> she thought, woof. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, get married. I think it's more a case of. As you said, like men do have more options. The ratio when we go out is always like it's nice. six to one. Yeah. I feel like when you have a certain standard, men always feel like, some men feel like, oh, she's a bit too much, because there's another woman who's going to accept. Scorcher, mm -hmm. whatever he said, there's yeah. someone there that's sitting with What? Him. That's turning uh, that someone on. What are you, you understand? Yeah, so you, gonna... so if you were now to date him, you're too much. <laughs> and he doesn't have to deal with this that. This is it. Yeah. I just feel like he is in a position where the, the woman, whoever he's with, is going to have to meet him all the way. And I'm not on that. Like, mm. for me, this marriage thing is all kind of new in it. Like, mm. I'm not really, if I'm going to get married, it's not all about the love. And I feel like people are forgetting, like, there's so many reasons, oh, you know, taxes. Love and... is not enough. Any man that is of your faith would understand, understand that. Yeah. Fair enough. I guess obviously I'm saying it from my perspective. Like, right. do you know how like there's this there's this like ideology where it's like, oh, men might treat a woman badly, and it's like, oh yeah, he didn't even know how much he he hurt me or what. Men know what they're doing. Men will only so, do what us women allow them to do. Regardless, they still know that they've done what they, they might did. think is acceptable well, if they're allowing it to happen. No, but that's not the point. The point they'll is feel that it's acceptable. No, that's not. The they point. might not know right and wrong. No, they're not children. But if I propose to you Imagine. forever and ever and ever, I'm going to think I'm the reason that this relationship's yeah. happening. Yeah. And I feel like most women, we're in it. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like a man needs to decide, like, you need to pick me because I'm already there. If I'm with you, I'm probably already there. Men really respect themselves. Oh. As women, Listen, I don't know. We're not missed that hashtag. Men respect men, themselves. Men are the real woman king. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> men will not have two penny socks. No, they won't have two socks to rub together. <laughs> but if they want yep. A, B, C, and D, nah, which they you respect C, themselves. Them, it, you're just, uh, yeah, yeah, as in, they yeah. will still um, cantalize, but yeah. there's yeah. no yeah, yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're regulated to the bench in their yeah. head. Yeah. There's no There's no compromising. Yeah. No Whereas compromise. women, no you want A, no compromise yeah. by the way, in my experience, because yeah. you know, if you, everybody says, oh, you're talking about all of us. A, B, C, and D, if you can only do, ah, not the whole A. Do you know what? But I believe he has potential for B and C. Uh, and I ah. him to do D. Yeah. I had a question for um, Shani and uh, Monica. Would you guys propose to a woman? Would yeah. I propose to a woman? Yeah. Actually, would I? No, yeah. But I just want to know you're like literally infatuated with me. But it's the same thing for a guy. I want you to know mm. before you propose to me, I want to know that you're literally infatuated with me. Like I mentioned before, I'm kind of new to this marriage thing. So <laughs> we're going to take it one step at a time. Mm. But yeah, I would. He's not going to compromise because, like you said, he can go outside. Okay, you don't do it, but Julie does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I want A, B, C, D, I'm getting A, B, C, D. Yeah. yeah. And with us, we're like, oh, I can do, th we're not doing that. Yeah. And that goes back to men love themselves. Yeah. 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 The right man will they have standards. They have, have standards. Yeah, they have standards. <laughs> they do, they do. <laughs> Women <laughs> king for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that I want that spirit. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is the wildest date you've been on? <laughs> Wildest. Yeah. Positive or negative? Um, I picked her up. She's sitting next to me, but she's like dancing next to me. But like she's doing like suspicious moves. <laughs> like the moves is like, like stuff like that. It's a bit weird. Cool. <laughs> We've gone to the to the bar. Um, I've gone to the toilet. Um, I've come back and she is break dancing in the middle. <laughs> of the dance floor. You know what's so mad, yeah? So with that's Vacchiano's. Mm. That's what I would do. The girl, she came in 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 a headscarf. Well, wait, 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 you know what's what? What's wrong with a headscarf? No, no, what? You know, I'm I'm actually. Cause... So what if I pulled up in my do rag? It's, it's what? It's, it's fine. Before I laughed, I was gonna ask, was it for religious reasons? Exactly. But, but nah, it's not. Nah, nah, there's no. Yeah, 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 that's, that's yeah. Crazy. But she's come back to me, but sweating everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, you don't you don't read the break dancing thing. She she was honest with who she yes, was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not for me. Yeah, but it's not a step up thing when you're going on the date. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do that? Because you you're giving a face like say you she's standing on the stairs. I'm asking questions about like it's like acceptable. Would you go on dates in your head scarf? I, I wouldn't do it. No, you wouldn't. But... Oh, why not? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, her sleeping. <laughs> yeah, it's not my bug. Why wouldn't you? That is an aesthetic for some people. That's a rubbish aesthetic. Was it, no wait, was it like, it no, tied a little bit and it was done, a part of the hairstyle? This was the best that I was getting. That difficulty for me to get an answer <laughs> is the whole reason why we're having this problem. And to save your sisters, you're avoiding you know what I mean? directly. <laughs> Accountability, really First of all, <laughs> <laughs> First of all. First of all. Right. First of all. If shorty, if my girl is a 10 out of 10 in a headscarf, let her do her thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. If, but also, I... If, if it's when you sleep in, sis, maybe bejazzle it a little bit, put some yeah, on that exactly. shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, you're going, you're going to see a guy going on a date in the headscarf. If it's the first day, then I'm just going to be... I'm going to say Vapiano. Effort, but I'm going to be Vapiano. Then I don't in care. It's Vapiano. I'm going in a headscarf. Okay. Yeah. I agree with him. She, 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 didn't, she didn't rate it. I agree with no, him. No, she didn't rate it. How she didn't rate it. If it was one of them, if it was one of them Love Jones, you're locked, wrapped up in a thing, cool. But what he's describing is bedtime. She was, that's rude. I went on a date one time and this guy, he came, I, I can't even explain what he looks like. It was so <laughs> bad. And after the day, I call, uh, he called me and I said, can I give you some feedback? Not when you feedback. go on a date, this was our first date, by the what way. I was like, when you go on a first date, <laughs> obviously you want to dress to impress. Like, you wouldn't come to a date with your headscarf. It is rude. You put your best foot forward. So if you were having a bad hair day, reschedule. Like, why are you going to a date with a headscarf? What if that's what she's comfortable in? Like, you I mean, nah, she didn't rate him. With a yeah, headscarf. But, yeah, but some people, they may not be into lashes, whatever. Like, that's that's them. That's then that's their best. That's once. their best foot yeah. forward. But, but then this that's is, it. Then, but this is perfect then, because I feel when I started to enjoy dating was when I realised this is not an exam. It's a mutual, like, we both have a choice to yeah, be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. We both have a choice to pick one another. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like he has now seen that he doesn't like the scarf couture. Yeah. And she has yeah. said, I don't want, that he doesn't get my vibe, innit? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Perhaps. I break dance and I'm nervous. Uh, I'm, <laughs> you said that? Yeah, like, was I was about to lip, it was like my first, I think that was- That was, was her fun fact, Yeah, wasn't I, it? I do that sometimes when I'm, I just do, just wait. Yeah, <laughs> but that's not step up. And he said she was sweating yeah, loads. that's mad though. But yeah. it's her real, release it. This I is think, a real me. Big up her. Yeah, I think right. it's good because sometimes I, I feel like we're not being our whole self. Mm. So in, in this case, 
I mean, I do think a it's a bit thing. mad. <laughs> it is a little bit mad. If I've gone on a date and the guy starts... <laughs> doom, doom, I respect it. I'm like, show I mean, me, baby. Turn around. Mm -hmm. so, if the vibe is right, I'm breakdancing. Oh, oh, I think if the vibe is right. No, not yes. to the point where I'm sweating. No, <laughs> that that was a bit much. I, I'm very, I love that for her, but yeah. you don't need to sweat. I'm very, I'm it's very like, much. have a good time. Like, I'm very like, let's have a good time. I don't even like sit down dates too much unless I'm like really feeling you, then fine. Um, but in, in my head, yeah, this girl is a dancer. She was, remember, she was jiggering before the, before, before the music was yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. She was already, so he, she's showing him, I'm, this is my dream. Mm -hmm. So if he's not into it, like I said, <laughs> he's, right. he's, 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 he's perfectly, it's perfectly it. acceptable for him to not be attracted to it. But at least he can see. However, mm. I realise I have a bit of a double standard. People say stuff like, oh, we don't like the funny guy, we don't want the guy doing his onto or whatever. I never in my head thought, Guys might feel the exact same way about the girl. Yeah, because yeah. what if you, Never thought what that. If you went yeah. on a date and the guy's like, oh, can do it. And then you talk to him. 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 The problem is, yeah, when I'm having fun, I, I truly believe I look sexy. I think I look gorgeous, but. I might not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not judging her. Like that's her. I think she's being true to herself. <laughs> but if someone did that to me on a date, I'd be like, wow. Oh my god, guys, he's yeah. dancing a lot. In the chat. <laughs> in the yeah, yeah. The group he's chat, like, sweating. Guys. He's dancing so much. Now. <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy for him to be himself. Like, let's get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. If you get nicked with her. Oh my god, you're done. <laughs> I was thinking, if you get nicked with her, you're going to all of the prisons. <laughs> you know, when you go on a date and say, go and do. He's on something of rod. I'm not stopping work.